Hey guys, Scarlet Phoenix here again with you today. Let me try and uh, fix that camera. I'm still uh, working with my phone. As you can see. Oh, hi, Luna. Can say hi to everyone? No? Tango will be good now. Uh, today, I... They're fighting. They're like literally fighting. We you want? You want to help Mommy do this review? Today we're doing a review on our... Conair Infinity Pro Smoothing Hot Brush. I had to read it because I have been trying to find, it just seems, hold on, there we go. Anyway, it seems really tedious for me because my hair, this is, this is the way my hair naturally looks. I put it back because it just looks terrible. Luna's playing with her Christmas toys or whatever, but... Uh, so I'm trying to find something that seems easier and faster to straighten my hair. Because if I use a normal flat iron, it takes a very, very long time to do it. Yeah. It's uh, not one of my finest, finest things. But it's because of my hair. My hair type is so awful. I mean, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Look at this. Look at this hair. It's so unmanageable. If you guys ever see me with my hair nice, it's because I just got it done or because I I wanted to do something with it before I did a video or something like that. But beyond that, this is this is what it looks like. Look at this. It's disgusting. And it's all because of a bad perm. No joke. I went to Smart Styles in Walmart, okay, to get my hair done. Just straighten it, you know. And then they're like, you know, we think you look good with a perm. And I was thinking about doing a perm anyway. And this this may be a long story, so strap yourself in. So I went in and uh, I scheduled an appointment to do my perm. And I know the lady very well. Because she always straightens my hair for me or, you know, does some curling in it or something like that. Because my hair was down to here at that time. Okay. Because I've been growing it since me and Waffle first started seeing each other. It's like th for three and a half years. Well, practically like three years. Okay. Because <laughs> when I first met him, I just cut my hair and I had an asymmetrical bob. Then uh, when I met him, he was like, you know, you look you look good with long hair. I just cut my hair off like to get the asymmetrical bob a week prior to meeting him. So I started to grow my hair out because he said that he liked it long and blah, blah, blah. This, you know. I don't know. I figured it'd be just better if I just kept growing it out. So I grew it out all the way down here. Went in there to get a perm because I wanted like a big ringlet spiral perm. I think that's so freaking cute. But they put this hot solution on my hair. The lady who usually straightens my hair curls it or something for me with an iron or whatever. And uh, she left the solution on my hair for 45 minutes. Okay. I kid you not, when I got done with it, it was still wet. They wouldn't even dry it for me because they knew it was effed up, okay? She sat there and she's like, oh, it looks good. But when I looked at it, it looked like freaking spaghetti strings. Like, no joke, like real skinny little spaghetti strings. My hair looked terrible. This was like six months ago and my hair still has all the problem to it. Look, look, at, look at like this under layer. Look at all that. After all this time. So, I went back home that night. Because it took... I sat there for like five hours getting my hair done. Okay. Because, you know, they got to put it in the... I don't know if you've ever had a perm, but you guys can look it up. And, uh... I come home and I was like, oh my god. My hair was like this. I look like a freaking red-headed clown. No joke. Like one of those afro clowns. And I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I looked at Wolf. I was like, look at my hair. He's like, I told you don't go mess with it, you know, man. I told you so. Luna, shush, I'm telling a story. But anyway, uh, I was freaking out so bad, I called them. I was like, listen, my hair is messed up really bad. I gotta do something. They said, well, shower, take a shower. Just wash it all out. So I got in the shower, wash it out. And as I'm in the shower, I'm, you know, trying to rinse it out. And I look at my hand and it's a handful of hair. A handful of hair. I'm not even freaking joking. I thought I was going bald. 
So I start freaking out. Okay. So I call them. I'm like, I got a handful of hair. This is crazy. What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. They're like, come in tomorrow and we'll take care of it. I go in there. They cut my hair. They cut it. A lot of it. They say, oh, if we cut it, it'd be all right because it'll take the weight off from it and it'll, it'll go back to the way that you wanted it to look like. No, no, it didn't happen. Okay. The stylist's name is Sunny. So if you guys ever deal with somebody named Sunny, just walk right out. I don't know. There might be more than one person named Sunny, but she is a obese lady who is who doesn't even know what the heck she's doing. Okay. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll just cut it off. And they kept me, they kept coming, having me come in there because it, it wasn't getting any better. Three times, two to three times, they cut it higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And then they even thinned it out, cut like all, like a bunch of stuff. My hair was so beautiful and now it's ruined. Okay. So I walked into, uh, I went to another Walmart. Okay. Cause I was in there shopping and one of the ladies in that smart style said, oh my God, she was out there shopping. She goes, oh my God, what happened to your hair? So I told her and she goes, I'm calling regional management right now. Cause that's unacceptable. She called regional management, got my refund. I paid like $130 to get this done. Lena, quit chewing on that. Hey, Lena, be good. And you know, she was really great, but my hair still jacked up. Hence why I'm looking for alternative ways to try and fix my hair. Okay. They gave me, when she called the regional manager, she suggested, hey, let's give her a few Malibu treatments to relax the hair to make it better. You know what I'm saying? I got two of them, maybe three, and it still is bad. <laughs> okay. So, you know, that's why I'm looking for this. Some kind, I've tried different things to straighten my hair, but this is where we're at right now. So I've heard some things about this, that it's good, it's bad. So today I'm going to do the review on it for you. It says it has Diamond Brilliant Shine technology, okay? Straight in shines and removes frizz, which I don't know if you guys can tell what I can use some frizz removal, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush my hair. And then we will try to use this because I want you guys to see. Taking off my glasses. I'm like kind of blind without them. So you guys just see me staring off in a daze. Just look over it. So I'm going to brush my hair. And then we will see what happens with this. Now, as I brush my hair, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Then I'll quit being a butt. Quit being a butthole. I love you. I love you. She's so tall now. She's only she's almost seven months. And she's like gigantic. <laughs> okay. That's what you get when you get a great pier, right, Luna? She also digging up my carpet too. But that's another story for another video for another another story for another video. You know, it's late. I'm wide awake. I come home from my sister's birthday party. Happy birthday, by the way, sis. It's her birthday, and uh, she. I come home, and I, I just went right to bed. I slept for four hours. I don't know why it's daytime, but I was sleeping. So let's go ahead and open this up. It says it has uh, advanced ionic technology, includes a powerful high-voltage ion generator that flattens and seals the hair cuticle, reducing frizz and leaving hair shiny and more manageable. Is it now? We'll see. A uh, combination of nylon, silicone, and diamond-infused ceramic bristles, which gently glides styler through hair for silky smooth results and added shine. Paddle brush design features large surface for better contact with hair. Instant heat up, 400 feet high heating with three settings. For all hair types is what it says. Superionic frizz control and swivel style cord brush. I mean cord. So... Opening it up. Nothing else in here. Maybe some instructions, but pfft, you guys know me. I never use instructions. Who needs those things? So this is this is it right here. You know, just it kind of looks like a, a brush with a cord to it. It's kind of heavy though. 
on the top, probably because of all the heating elements in it, but it does feel kind of heavy, but not heavy enough that I can't lift it, obviously. I mean, I'm weak, but I'm not that weak. <laughs> okay, so now we've got this thing here. I think it's uh, some fancy form of zip tie, which I really like, by the way, because... See, like, if you look at the... I don't know why I'm showing you guys zip tie, but if you look at the zip tie, it's pretty nice. Because all you do is you press it down, and then you push it on through. It's not like normal zip ties that you have to cut. Which, you know, I could do without. Because I don't always have a pair of scissors on me. Okay, I never have, and I probably never will. It is attached to it, so... We're not going to take it off. We're just going to leave it on there. So we're gonna plug this in here. I've got some a cord here. And we're gonna turn it on. So when you turn it on, you got the low setting, you setting, and the high setting. We're gonna put it on the high setting, all right? I don't know if it's safe to put on this wooden table, but we're gonna do it. Now I'm gonna take my brush. I got this at Walmart. It's for like, it's a detangler brush, so. We're just gonna, See, I don't, I try not to brush my hair because when I do, it gets really frizzy. Maybe I'll just, it's making noise, so I'm just gonna, oh gosh, I'm just gonna set it right here. <laughs> on this ottoman here. Waffles ottoman. I have a pink one and he has a blue one, but he always ends up using mine anyway. He don't really care about the colors or anything. See, because of the bad things that have happened in my hair, I got all these little mats in it. Oh my gosh, it's driving me insane. You know what, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna cut it because I'm so tired of dealing with this crap. Matted here. This is an under layer, so I'm not really worried about it. It, I, I'm so, angry at how my hair was is done it's just so bad look at it look at what's happening that's why i don't brush it because of all this frizz like i said i look like a freaking clown and it's been over six months since this has happened so i'm praying that this this ionic thing can be my my savior it's making like a sizzling sound I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's heating up. Sorry to bore you with my hair brushing. I don't like to pause the video usually because I'm worried that I'm going to mess it up. I'm by no means a professional, okay? I might pause it later to... Get the before and after, like, as I'm doing it, because I doubt you guys want to see me take all this time to do my hair. Now, if it's quick, that'd be all right, but this seems to take a while. You know. I mean, like, this hair looks so bad. <laughs> I look like some crazy person. And I've been trying to, like, get another job because I, uh, I separated from my previous job, my main job. I worked there for, like, seven years. So I'm trying to get another job, and I come in there like this. Hey, guys, I'm here for my interview. Look at me. I look like I'm, I'm insane. I don't, I don't look good with poofy hair like this. It says it's a fast heat-up time. I wonder if it's ready now. I don't know, we could try them. So I guess it's just like a brush, so I assume you just take it through your hair. So we're just gonna brush it for a little bit and see what happens. We'll brush it on one side. And then see if it does anything, okay. I mean, the hair is getting hot to an extent, but I'm not, I mean, it does look a little less poofier, so. 
we'll keep going with it and see what happens. So, uh, I don't know how your guys' Christmas was, but thankfully my sister let me come hang out with her for Christmas because Waffle was with his grandma and his family. You know, which it was... It, I just don't like being without Waffle. <laughs> okay. So, I didn't see him for like three days. And I, my sister was like, yeah, you can come here, you know, my nieces. I get to spend time with them and all that. So I've been brushing it for a little bit and, you know, it don't look like it's doing anything. Here still looks like crap. On, off, high, low. That's all it, that's all it has is on, off, high, low. Maybe if I go slow. With it. It's making a sizzling sound. Oh, so going slow seems to do something. Did you guys see that? All right, maybe the secret is going slow. Maybe I'm going too fast. Let's go slow through here and see what happens. Hi, Luna. Hi, puppy. What are you doing? She's so happy. <laughs> what do you want? Mommy's doing stuff. Her service training is going so well. She's still a baby, but she's so smart. You're so smart, aren't you? You're just so smart. I spend a lot of time with this dog. <laughs> we do everything together, don't we? Don't we? Yes, we do. So, I mean, it does look like it's doing something. Results aren't what I expected, I you know, but I have a high expectation for everything. I'm like, oh, it's going to do perfect every time, blah, 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 blah. So this is like real time, so you guys are seeing how long this is taking me. But then again, you gotta remember, I have really thick hair. It seems, I'm getting some kind of results. Which, you know, I find it, it's definitely easier to use this than to use those clampy ones, you know. The, the flat irons. I mean, I'm not hating it. I mean, I could just pop on some Empire or something, watch that, and do this. Before I know, I'll have straight hair, I guess. But I'm expecting it to be um, a little faster, but like I said, it, it, it looks like it's getting the job done. Now, when I go to Smart Styles to get my hair straightened... They charge me like, it depends on who does it, like $15, 10 to $15 to do it. But I was getting a discount because I worked at a certain retail store where you get discounts. It was like 20% off or something like that. But now I don't get that, so I'm kind of looking for an ulterior motive that's not going to charge me a lot of money to get my hair straight. Because something, like I would have to do it. If I had an event or something I had to go to, I would have to take a shower and then wait a day and then go in and get my hair straightened or like do it the next day when my hair was dry. I don't know. It doesn't, it's not really getting all that frizz like it says it's supposed to. You know, it looks like it's kind of straightening it to an extent, but it might just take a lot of time. I think that's the drawback for this. It seems to be taking a lot of time for me because my hair is so thick. But as you can see, it is doing something, which is, you know, not bad. Maybe if I get these under layers here. Ooh, the back is getting hot. That's for sure. But I expect that. I'm just saying. Be careful if you guys get this and touch the back because it's getting hot.
Okay. I think I think that's good. We've been doing this for about five minutes or so. <laughs> a pretty long video. <laughs> so I set that to the side. And then we're just going to brush it with my normal brush. I mean, it looks better, but the results are not, not as good as a flat iron. Because, you know, if I use a flat iron, it'll get flat. You know. <laughs> you guys see me with my hair done. I'm pretty sure. In one of my videos. So, uh, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. You know, just because, I mean, it, it's working to an extent. Maybe if I use it longer, it might be okay. But the time it's taken is not what I'm looking for. It's taking too long. I mean, you guys can see it does look better, but not a whole lot better. <coughs> but, you know, you're not getting that those two plates together sifting through the hair, you know, because it's... It's just one side. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Mainly because uh, I'll tell you the drawbacks. First, I'll tell you the pros, and then I'll tell you the cons. So, the pros that I realize is it's, it's, not, it's not hard to work with. It's pretty easy to use. You know, to me, that's kind of important. The little swivel thing, which most, most good uh, flat irons and stuff should have that automatically. But some of them don't. Um, I mean, it's catching it's catching my loose hairs like it's a like it's a normal brush. The heat setting's not too bad. The back of this isn't really that hot, as you guys can see. I've had it on all this time. I mean, I put my hand to it not for very long, but still, I can't burn myself. Unlike with a flat iron, I have burned myself so many times with those things. Um, the cons is, is that it's not giving me the results that I need for my hair type. It might be better for a different person's hair type with someone with thinner hair. Yeah, I think my sister has thin hair, so it might be okay for her, but not for me. Uh, take it too long. I, I don't think it's got the, the results, you know. The heat up was pretty quick, but... Mainly, I'm giving it the three stars, but taking off two stars from five because it isn't, it's not really doing what I need it to do. But like I said, it could be light, easier for somebody else with a different hair type. You know, it kind of depends. <clears throat> well, that's about it for my review of the Infinity Pro sm Smoothing Hot Brush. I mean, Connor is trying to figure something out. Maybe it'll maybe it'll work for somebody, but it ain't working for me, as you can see. <laughs> you guys saw me working with it, so. Yep, uh, if you guys like my reviews, please like and comment below. I haven't done a review in a while. I've been kind of busy since I haven't had my job and I broke my foot. It's a whole long story. But thanks for watching my videos as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.